I'm really happy to see everybody here tonight and really excited to see all the conversations. It's been a long time since we've been back together in person again. And my name is Ramia Hozak. I'm the Director of Philanthropy with the Kidney Foundation of Canada. Very heartwarming to see you all here. To kick off the evening, I'd like to invite our first speaker, Dr. Aaron Garg. I'm really delighted to be here tonight. I did not fully appreciate in early years that there is a major problem of chronic diseases in South Asian community. When I was involved with the dialysis unit at Rock Columbian, it didn't strike to me that there was. But if you were to visit any dialysis unit now, you will see the a disproportionate number of South Asians in those dialysis units. As NASA will say, Houston, we have a problem. There are 6,000 people in BC right now living with transplant under the care of healthcare professionals. This is an amazing team, and on behalf of uh, myself, Premier Eby, and our whole government, I want to say thank you to the Kidney Foundation and thank you to our healthcare teams who make so much possible in our province. And the Kidney Foundation is very near and dear to my heart. I'm a living donor, and my, my husband, uh, he uh, lost a kidney to cancer, had a couple of liver transplants. So I said, what about me? And the kids were horrified. They said, Mom, you're too old. I said, thank hell, I'm too old. <laughs> so, anyway, I went through all the tests. My staff were really freaked out because it was just before an election. They said, if they find out you're crazy, just don't tell us and go through with the election. But I wasn't crazy. I, I managed to, to do it. And it was amazing, the difference in his life. It was, it was just in incredible. I believe it's important to listen to your loved ones battling this disease. Encourage them to do the best they can. Give them your understanding, love, and support. And I would like to say this evening is phenomenal, allowing us to share our stories. I must first mention that my dad, Mr. Reddy, is currently on dialysis and eagerly awaiting a life-saving transplant. I'm a transplant physician. I work at St. Paul's Hospital. I've done so for about 15 years. But I think I can speak for our entire team when I say that dialysis is difficult. Kidney failure is very difficult and transplantation offers the hope and the chance at a more normal life and it's certainly the pleasure of our lives and the privilege of our lives to be able to help make that a reality. So thank you for all being here to try to look into this and see how we can make this a reality for more of our patients. So imagine this, at the age of 34, my wife is five months pregnant, I have no history of kidney disease or kidney issues in my family and I've now been diagnosed with renal failure. Even more so, had I not gone to the hospital that day, instead of picking baby names, my wife would have been picking a date for my funeral. Now you may look at me and think, Deep looks perfectly fine. Wouldn't guess in a million years kidney failure. I can thank my wonderful wife for nursing me back to health after the hospital. It was talk in my family forever that how kidneys can harm our lives how kidneys can create pain, suffering, and uh, they can just stop breathing because of that. When this happens, not only one person, two people, or three people, it creates pain, suffering, trauma to entire family, to all relatives, and whoever is connected. I know that so many members of South Asian communities are here. I would like to say to them that if you can, if you can help someone, I would say that that would be the utmost service you can do to anyone. A couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with kidney disease. And for someone who's always been active, it was new, the news was very difficult for me to digest. I had to face the reality of kidney disease and the challenges that it brought. Last year, I found myself facing uh, the reality of dialysis, a treatment that became part of my daily life. It was physically and emotionally difficult. One of the most remarkable aspects of our journey has been the support that we've received from, from this community. 
social media, family, friends, and of course, this amazing foundation. Tonight, as we come together to support the Kidney Foundation, let us remember the importance of community and connections. Let us continue to raise awareness and advocate for kidney health. We have three fantastic cakes we're gonna auction off today. The cakes, ladies and gentlemen, red velvet, cardamom dream cake, and a tuxedo cake. And we have a very, very special guest today with us today. Kate Chong is a uh, kidney transplant recipient, and she received it from her husband, Brian. Welcome, Kate. Big round of applause for Kate. Thank you very much. We are gonna start out the bidding with a red velvet cake, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, a luscious red velvet cake, creamy white chocolate, uh, ganache filling, Swiss meringue, buttercream, red velvet crumbs. There it is there, what a beautiful cake. All right, thank you ladies and gentlemen.